Hello, my name is Fabris, and I will present you uh, one of our tools used to export some uh, Visual Fox Pro code to X -Sharp. The tool is simply called VFP Exporter. The application we will use as a sample is a very simple Fox Pro application. We have a free table, customers with different fields. We have a form, customers too. Uh, there was, um, for example, some text box and uh, some uh, elements that are linked to the database, for example, with uh, the control source property. And uh, with using the different buttons, you can move and you can see in the code that uh, we're moving from uh, the beginning to uh, the, the last uh, item from the database uh, using that. And okay, if we run the application, this is something very uh, usual. So we can go uh, forward, backward, to the top, back, uh, etc. And um, so this is our uh, application that we will use. And, uh, all the files are stored in the same uh, folder. And we also have a library with two items, a cursor and a text box uh, that is included uh, in the project. Now let's go and run our VFP uh, exporter application. So from there we can, um, we have some settings. We can set uh, the default folder where we will find uh, VFP files and we can also set the, the default file for exportation. What we can do is export um, a library, for example. So simply we will choose the corresponding uh, library file. And um, in that part of the window, we can have some a small analysis for debugging purpose. So we can see that we have, for example, two items uh, in this uh, library. In, um, and then we can export uh, the element from the library uh, to our um, folder. So if we go to our folder, we can see that we have uh, the, a folder with the name uh, of the library, which is there. And inside, we will have one PRG file per item that we can find uh, in the, the library, the original library. So we can also have a look at the source that has been uh, exported. Um, if, for example, uh, I use the, the notepad uh, in order to, to have a look at the, at the code, we can see that um, our cursor class um, has been exported um, to um, a kind of .NET X-based language, which is XSharp very similar to what we have in, uh, in VFP. We have uh, our class that inherit from a, a VFP cursor, which is an external file, but we will talk about it a little bit later. And we also find all the properties uh, used to initialize the cursor. Okay, so now we might want to export a form. So that's the same process. We go to the folder, select the form. We can analyze the content of the form if we want in order to check it, for example. So uh, we have the data environment and uh, uh, the cursor that is attached to the window and uh, several controls on the form. We can export. And again, in our folder, we will have a new folder, which is has the name of the form and two files, one content the, um, the user-defined code, event handlers, and so on. And the other one contain the, the code that define the window that we can, uh, that will be used in the designer in, uh, in Visual Studio. Okay, so uh, in order to see exactly how everything works, let's try now to export a project. So uh, let's go to the folder, select the, the project file, and then uh, the process is the same. We can check how many forms or library. Uh, we here only have uh, one form 
uh, in the project and uh, same thing um, we can now uh, export the full project uh, using the, the VFP exporter. So uh, in the folder we will find the project um, generated by the exporter that it will be used by Visual Studio. We also have our two files for um, the, the form and some extra files that had, have been added to Visual Studio. Okay, let's go to Visual Studio. And uh, so we have our form. We can, uh, and uh, the extra file, we can double click on the, on the form in order to edit um, the form to see. And we see that we retrieve our design in, uh, in Visual Studio in Windows form. Uh, we have the different buttons and um, if I double click on a button, I can retrieve the corresponding code that was attached to the event, which is at now uh, in XSharp. So if I go to my uh, original um, button um, uh, in Fox Pro, we can compare. Uh, sorry, I have to close a few windows. Uh, okay, let's move. Right, so you can see that we have the same code that has been extracted and then a transport export to our uh, XSharp application. Um, so the definition of the window. Okay, um, so now we could try maybe to build uh, this application and see what's happening. Um, in XSharp. Okay, so let's start the application. So we may have some errors um, because mainly uh, we don't have a start point. Um, currently, the exporter uh, was not able to set the start uh, of the application. So you have yourself to edit the, um, the name of the window. Uh, that will be the main window that will run uh, your application. Okay, so now, uh, now we're done. We can rebuild and check uh, how it is going. Okay, so let's go. What we will have as a result is a crash again, because guess what? The transporter has moved your code, but it didn't move your uh, DBF file. So we will have to copy these uh, to the right folder. So let's search um, in, uh, in, in the original folder so we get the DBF, the FPT and the CDX, the, the three files, and copy them to the binary that will be used by Visual Studio. Okay, let's start a go over. And okay, we have our application, we have the right design, our buttons. Uh, so you may find it a little bit smaller. This is due to the, the font size that is not the same uh, during exportation, but this is something we can manage uh, automatically. Um, so uh, if I move using the buttons, I will find the same contents and I will have, in the end, the same uh, application that I had uh, in Fox Pro. Um, so great, we have a Fox Pro application running in XSharp. So um, in, the, in the project, in the solution, we had some uh, extra files that have been uh, injected by the transporter. These are only here to support some features that we have uh, in FoxPro uh, that are not available currently in XSharp. But all these, for example, the, the data environment, the cursor binding and so on, um, are planned to be uh, introduced in the runtime of XSharp. So in the end, uh, this uh, injected file will disappear. So um, we have seen about uh, library form. Uh, next, 
uh, next work uh, on the, the exporter will be about moving um, menus and reports uh, to Ixhaw. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, talk to you soon. Bye!